I'm inside of the watermelon and cantaloupe patch. And this right here is yet the largest cantaloupe that I have. And I want so bad to like pick it off. But I'm not for sure if it's ready for me to pick it off. Uh, according to a Google search, um, if it was ready, it would easily like, you know, let go of the vine. So yeah, I'm not for sure if it's, you know, ready because I harvested two um, cantaloupes prior and um, and they weren't ready so I'm gonna leave it alone even though I'm tempted to go ahead and harvest it but just um, checking on um, everything making sure everything is doing okay and I do see that I have some new um, baby watermelons that's growing and I have one here so yeah I'm back here in my uh, pepper plot and it seems like all the other pepper plants <clears throat> are doing just fine But I have two banana pepper plants that are wilting. And I'm not for sure why that is. I do uh, fertilize the soil back here. And I do um, keep it watered. So this is one of them. This is actually the second. Um, banana a banana pepper plant that's wilted on me and this is the first one it appears that the the stems still look nice and green like there's still life in the stems but the um, the foliage or the greenery has died on it very quickly so that is a concern and um because this one was doing just fine and just a couple of days after this one wilted this one started to wilt so i'm hoping that it's nothing attacking my um pepper plants that's making it do that I want to pick these so bad they've been yellow for like a month now like a, a pale yellow so I'm not for sure if I should just go ahead and pick them or just um, keep them on here <laughs> and my corn plant pretty much my corn plants um I don't think they're gonna make it um I did try to attempt to do pest control with um spraying BT on them all right so this is the BT and it does tell you um how much you should put um in your container or uh, whatever container you're using so that you can um kind of fend off these worms or whatever eating up your plants all right so I have my spray bottle here I put the BT in here and mixed it with water so I'm starting to feel hopeless about these corn plants because something is eating them up
but it appears that the insects have gotten the best of the corn so I'm gonna pull these up and I think I might plant some green beans or something around in this area but um, everything else for the pepper plant seems to be doing okay it's just um, this right here is very concerning with these two particular uh, pepper plants but the stem is still doing okay like the stem is still green so I'm hoping that there's still hope for that it will flourish back out and uh, continue to grow All right, these are my okra plants and I have been harvesting a few okra off of here maybe a couple of days um, every other day I get maybe about three or four okra and let's see I think this is five okra plants And it appears that the ants love okra. So before I even try to harvest it off, I, I have to spray it down first. <laughs> before I can get anything. Alright, so these are the purple hull peas and the black eyed peas plot here and I will be providing some type of a trellis for them very very soon and they have gotten quite bigger since the last time I showed you guys so that's the update on those these are my sweet potatoes that I have planted in my containers here and it looks like the some of the vines are dying back I'm not for sure if um, they're ready to be harvested but I'm just gonna keep an eye on them and this is my little flower set up here on my back porch on my table and what I have planted in these tiered pots are catnip and petunias all from seed and they have been flourishing pretty good and these right here these were marked off at Lowe's and um, they they didn't even have blooms on them they was actually like really dry <laughs> but they came back to life and I think these are called Venka so that's what what these are called Venka and I just stuck those in this pot and I have some parsley right here that I know I eventually have to harvest some of that and also some rosemary. These are some cucumbers that I have planted in these grow bags and I have two cane poles, something that they might be able to reach out and grab onto. These are some more cucumber plants. I'm not for sure um, how well those would do, but it looks like something is attacking those. And I have some uh, Rama, baby Rama tomato plant planted in these. So I'm still unsure of if if these are gonna grow, and if not, that's fine. You know, I can always use the, the grow bags for you know other things. 
so not gonna really worry about if it grows or not and these are my uh, ghost pepper and habanero pepper plants and also jalapeno plants and I'm, I'm gonna get around to planting um, these and maybe these um, grow bags here so that um, it can give their roots a chance to really stretch out and grow and for the plant themselves to get bigger and as you can see I have two peppers here that I could go ahead and um, harvest off so, and I think this is um, a ghost pepper Right, so I'm on my um, back porch and I have a few of these um, I think this is a 10 gallon grow bag and I want to go ahead and plant some of my pepper plants inside of here and I think I'm going to do two pepper plants per grow bag and and I will see how they grow together that way. All right, so I will first start with my two ghost pepper plants to plant both of them inside of this um, grow bag here. I have a little bit of this fertilizer left and some bone meal, and I'm gonna put maybe a, a pinch of it in here along with some bone meal and blood meal and get these um peppers planted in here it appears that the um the peppers are you know drying out much quickly i know that it is you know like super hot and they in the sun but maybe they have their roots have grown to capacity of the um containers I have them planted in and it is just time um, for their roots to just stretch out a little bit more and you know maybe it'll you know make the plant grow taller and produce more fruit as well all right so I'm just gonna grab just like a little handful of this fertilizer I don't have much so I'm trying to make it stretch and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around and I'm gonna take some bone meal a little handful of that and a little bit of blood meal and I have some blood meal I should have wear some gloves with this because this stuff does stink <laughs> all right so pretty much I'm just gonna get this mixed around and this was the container that I had some mustard greens planted in and those mustard greens, um, I guess due to the heat, they wound up going up to seed. So I went ahead and pulled those up and I'm just gonna uh, reuse the soil for something else. So now I'm gonna take my ghost peppers and I'm gonna put one on that side and then I'll put the other one on this side. All right, so you can see that the roots have grown to capacity um, on this plant here, and it definitely needed to um, go inside of a bigger container. So I'm gonna get this planted um, in this grow bag, and I will bring you guys back. All right, so I got both ghost pepper plants inside 
of this um, 10 gallon grow bag and I'm just going to um, fill in with some more dirt to the top well not all the way to the top but mm, I would say maybe kind of right here to where their uh, stems are all right so once I have this filled in then I will bring you guys right back all right so I'm finally finished with um, up potting up my pepper plant so earlier I showed you guys that I had cucumbers and I had tomato plant uh, planted in these grow bags well I still have a grow bag with cucumbers uh, planting in them so I left those alone the other uh, cucumber plants look like they were struggling a little bit so I decided to pull those up and I planted in um, jalapeno plant in here and these three grow bags here were some small tomato plants so I decided to dig those up and I repotted those in another container so I hope that they will continue to grow if not I'm not really worried about it <laughs> but I really needed to get my pepper plants out of those pots because as I showed you before that um, the roots were beginning to become root bound and that doesn't give um, a pepper plant the opportunity to continue to grow like it should because it'll start feeding off itself and it won't retain um, nutrients that way so I got them all planted in my uh, jalapeno peppers and my habanero peppers and ghost peppers all planted in the grow bags and um, and it was one leaf and I planted that one in a big pot so um, I don't want to take up too much more time but I thank you guys so much for watching and seeing what's going on um, in the garden and I hope you guys return again for another video and I hope you guys have a very blessed and great day and God bless I will see you guys on the next video